Two at 10, Aurora Police Chief Nick Metz speaking publicly now for the first time on the actions of his officers who shot and killed a 73-year-old Vietnam veteran who had just shot an intruder in his home. New side Sam Kramer digging into the details tonight. He's in studio with more on this developing story. Sam. Yeah, at the request of District Attorney of the 17th District, Chief Metz did not release any information on the shooting until all body camera footage and 911 calls were reviewed. Today, he says his officers did the best job they could in an extremely dangerous situation while he's still heartbroken over the death of Richard Black. Richard Black was a Vietnam veteran, the recipient of both a Purple Heart and Bronze Star for his service, forced to defend his family early Monday morning. There's certainly no dispute in any way, shape or form uh, that Mr. Black saved his family's life that night. Speaking at a press conference Thursday, Aurora Police Chief Nick Good Metz afternoon. says Black Officer shot Bill and Hummel killed 26-year-old Dejan Harper, who broke into his home threatening his grandson. I see the male was possibly trying to drown a 3-year-old, 11-year-old. Uh, but 911 calls and information on scene didn't provide the hero story to police. Black's wife gave this description to officers as they arrived. And as she passes, she says, and I quote, he has a gun, unquote. Shortly after, officers encountered Black inside the home, demanding he drop the weapon, but he didn't. For the next 13 seconds, officers continued to give at least five commands uh, to Mr. Black to drop the gun and to show his hands. We don't know why, but for whatever reason, Mr. Black did not drop the gun. Met says that's when an officer fired four rounds at Black, eventually leading to his death. Earlier Thursday, in a meeting with the Black family, police learned a possible reason why he didn't comply with calls to drop the gun. Mr. Black had a uh, uh, significant hearing impairment that he received from his uh, service in the military. It could have also been temporary hearing loss from shooting the intruder in the bathroom just minutes prior, but police won't speculate and aren't even releasing body camera footage of the incident at the request of the family and prosecutors as the investigation continues. There's also uh, a public interest in having faith and confidence that uh, the system uh, works properly and that decisions are made based upon a uh, fact that's not uh, biased or in any way compromised. Now, Chief Matt says he plans to release all of that evidence at a later date when the investigation is concluded. Meanwhile, we also learned that the officer that fired the shots is also a veteran himself who's reportedly heartbroken over the news. Always watching out for you, Colorado Sam Kramer, News 5.